So this is my kitchen island, and if there's one thing you probably notice, it's the fact that it is very extremely yellow or orange wood. And you know what else is yellow and orange? My entire kitchen cabinet situation. All of the cabinets are in that color scheme. It's a lot. I don't know. It's beyond my preference for how much yellow there is. And I really want to change this area specifically. But I'm a renter, so there's obviously no way for me to change it. Just kidding. Obviously there has to be a way. It's just going to take a little bit more thought. And I have an idea which should in theory make this space so much better and so much more modern and that's what we're gonna do in today's video. Let's get to it. Okay, so here's the situation. I have already updated many things in the kitchen, including the countertops, which I added contact with the Ron, the backsplash to our faux stone look, which looks amazing, and the marble tile, which I think brighten the space so much. I focused a lot on this view of the kitchen because it's an important view. It's exactly what you're seeing when you're in the kitchen itself. However, I haven't really focused that much on this view of the kitchen. To me, the biggest eyesore is definitely the under island area. It's just so yellow and it's kind of a dated wood look. I just don't love it. And yes, I do plan on bringing the backsplash all up here as well, which I think will look so good. Now I've been thinking for quite some time about how I could upgrade this and I've only really seen people either put removable wallpaper or contact paper on here. I wouldn't trust either of those methods for not removing the varnish. And I mean, it won't look the best, but I do I think I've thought of a method that will completely transform this space, look so much better, and not damage this wall at all. So we are going to head on over to Home Depot to get some products, and hopefully you will see my vision come to life. I'm very excited about it. It's going to be so good. Okay, do you want to flip this and put this just on the corner? I think that could look good. What do you think? I'm uncertain to be honest. To me, in a little slight way, it reminds me almost like windows, but I think that's just like in my head a bit. Can we flip both of them the other way so that like it's the short side on the bottom? For some reason that makes a difference to me. I mean, honestly, it probably will look quite like high end. Yeah. Painted and everything. Yeah. Okay. Deciding. Okay, so we have all of our materials back home here and they are white and a little bit boring. I definitely want to spice it up and add some color, but first, I'm good and I'm feeling The real question is, how are we going to attach this to the back wall? And if you guys know me, then you know my favorite tool to use in this type of situation is going to have to be command strips. Except I think we have a little issue here, which is that there's a little piece of trim right here and I need to test if this is gonna be thick enough. I thought it would be, but it's totally not. So that doesn't work, does it? So since these aren't thick enough, I guess the question is how will we attach it? I'm not exactly sure yet, but I think what makes sense is just to continue on with the project steps that I did have planned. And then I'll think on this and hopefully come up with a solution in a little bit. And conveniently, my husband is on vacation. So he's going to help me with this project. <laughs> so we're just going to use the miter box to cut this down because this is MDF and I just don't want the MDF dust everywhere. Boom. I don't have to slash it. It's going down really bad. She's high. We have done the cut. You do. <laughs> yes, hello. Uh, this is how we keep things in place. Exhibit A, <laughs> exhibit B. I think this is a great position. <gasps> Babe! Oh my god. I got this. Okay, so in terms of the actual color, we're not gonna leave it white. I went back and forth on paint colors between all the different shades of taupe and green. My initial vision for this was to make it green, but then when I mocked it up, and let me tell you, I mocked up so many different colors, I just felt like the green looked really good, but it just wasn't 100% my aesthetic. And it's such a big wall that I didn't want it to be like this huge green statement. So surprise, surprise, I went with taupe. Parth, what did you think would be good? Uh, my vote was for the green. Yeah, man, he actually was going so hard for the green, like green all the way, and I was like, taupe. And now we paint them.
Okay, so I just put the panels up on the wall and like honestly, they're looking so purple in my opinion. It's also dark out, so maybe that has an impact. So I guess we're just gonna do the second coat and see how it dries, like whether or not it dries. Like this one, cause this looks purple to me. This looks like a nice neutrally lightish color. Do you see the color difference? Completely different. Okay, time to do the second coat. <laughs> <laughs> we got a method down now. I go in with this little thing first. We blend and then Parth goes and like does the rest. The finisher. currently 10 30 p.m. and we just got back from Home Depot and guess what we were picking up? A new color of paint. We picked up a super dark toned green paint. We're not 100% confident on what the end result's gonna be but I just couldn't live with myself not trying it out. So we're going to paint it on the back of the panel. We will judge tomorrow which one we like more. Pray for us. Stir, stir, stir. I don't think we'll be doing a third color. This is the first time that I've tried a different paint color on a project. Yeah, I think even that's actually I've, true. Even when I've been unhappy with a color. You just stick with it. Yeah, I just stick with it. Professionale. So weird. Aren't you glad we decided to do this? Because if we didn't do this till tomorrow, we would very First we do this, then we'd probably do a second coat on this. What percent confidence do you have in this? 100. What? Gonna work. You have 100% confidence compared I always thought it would be green. I'm not, I'm not feeling that confident about this anymore. What do you mean? You said you were 8 out of 10 confident. You said 9 out of 10 first. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go down to a 5. No. It's too green. No. I don't know. This reminds me of a tennis court. Are you serious? No, don't say that. Maybe it'll be cool. He said with the lowest confidence I ever heard. It's currently the moment of truth. We're gonna test the new color. To be honest, I think this might be the wrong tone of green. Positive vibes only. <laughs> it feels like... What? You go first. What? No, let's get the second panel. Let's get the second panel. We can just half ass it. All right, moment of truth. It is a lot more contrasted. I hate it. <laughs> no. We really like this color. It's not that color. This color would look nice. No. I don't want to do this color. I feel like it needs to be glossier. Yeah, I feel that too. Sometimes I see this color and I'm like, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, so it is now the next day and after much consideration and debating and literally spending probably 10 hours looking at paint colors, I have made a decision. And can you guess what it is? It is the original taupe color. So hear me out. I really do like this shade. There's a reason why I picked it. It's a beautiful color. Do I think that the taupe pulls a little bit purple? I do, and I think that's okay. I think that when I add the actual accents of stools and lights and take the backsplash up, I think it's gonna all come together really, really nice. So that is the color I'm gonna go with. We're going to install it now. Now, as you guys know, we're running into a big issue with the installation. I'm planning to use command strips here, but the command strips aren't thick enough, so then, I was at the dollar store and I found the perfect little solution. It is these little MDF pieces. Let's get going. I'll just have to show you what I mean. Now time for the command strips. Two pieces, they Velcro together. One side sticks to the wall, one side sticks to the panel, and then when you pull it down, they separate. And one side sticks to the wall, and you can pull the tab and it will come off. I get like a healthy amount of comments asking. Yep. 
So if I didn't have these little things here, I would have just been able to command strip all the panels and everything directly to the wall. So this is what we're using for clamps for the trim pieces. Still haven't attached the top one yet, but I figure I might as well crack fill this section here. Totally like a gap at the bottom. For what reason? I don't know. These stools from Walmart in this nice black wood, they were literally the cheapest stools that I could find. And speaking of price, right after I show you the reveal, I will break down the total cost for this project. Okay, so if you are ready, I'm now going to show you the new kitchen island. Does this not look amazing? It has completely transformed this space. It modernized it so much. It elevated it so much. This looks so much better than peel and stick wallpaper or contact paper. Plus it's avoiding potential damage, which I think is a huge win. Once I add the backsplash up above the cabinet and add my two DIY lamps that I'm planning to do, I think it will bring everything together and just look so good. This project was full of little hiccups and I always need to remind myself that it's just about hunkering down and going through it and not being too too indecisive when you can be and just remembering that mistakes can be reversed and if you run into an issue there's always a solution and that's the most important part about DIY. Now I said that I would tell you the cost for this project. For the big panels I got two of them and that totaled $71. The top trim piece was $20. The two side end pieces were $28. Those little square craft MDF pieces from the dollar store were $4. And my paint, including only one color because I didn't need to make that mishap, was $29. And that brings the grand total for this project to be $152, which to me is worth it because I walk by this area literally all day, every day. Also, don't forget that if you own your home, you could totally install install this and have this be a statement in your space minus the command strip. Oh, I actually forgot the command strips in this. I had command strips, so maybe I won't mention that, but that would be like one pack or less than a pack of command strips. Maybe we'll add $10. Okay, maybe it's $162, we'll say, unless you have command strips kicking around like I do. Either way, thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey. I'll see you guys next week. Love you.